day 521. It's now 1034. Gamora. Calm down. And the day rating is a six. Got up at 6.30 to walk the pup. And went to the doctor to get a checkup. Try to explain the pain in the legs. And they had me do some just movement exercises, range of motion. They had me like push this way, push that way, now kick, now pull back. All right, any pain there? And I said, no, no pain. But at some point there was like kind of discomfort. And they said, okay, well, if it was a stress fracture, you wouldn't be able to do those movements. I said, okay, good to know. And I, I don't know. I think it's something, it's not a strain. I don't think it's a strain. I've just had too many strain muscles to know what those feel like, as opposed to this one being much lower. It felt like it was almost in the bone, as opposed to on the top, superficial. You can feel the knots or something. And so, yeah, I just tried to talk to him about it, and he said, okay, well, what's your daily routine? Da 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 da. How often are you exercising? How are you using like recovery? And I said, well, I do some light stretching, range of motion, and then I have a foam roller and I have a percussion gun. I said, wow, I'm really impressed. You've got a lot, lot going. And I said, thank you, appreciate it. And yeah, it kept going on about it was an injury and I thought I was like okay and the worst thing I think they would have said is take some pills and call us back in two or three weeks but they didn't and they said just monitor it you're gonna have to go easy on it for a while they said even if it, it was a small strain and you don't feel it now it, it could turn into a big strain and then really tear and then you're really gonna be injured, so you need to really ease back into exercise. So I said, okay, I'll just start out with running. So the goal is to run just two or three miles tomorrow morning. Just nice and easy, no pressure on pace, just to get out and see how it feels, see how the next day, how I recover. And then maybe come back every other day for a week, and then next week do the same thing, and then maybe go two days off, two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, something like that. But until then, I'm gonna try to add in more lifting. We'll see how that goes. But I think this everything was kind of fine. And then at the end, they said, do you have pain? Is it just in the morning, just at night? I said, no, 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 it's, it's, I normally feel in the morning when I move. I felt it at work every time I tried to get up out of the seat. And I said, I try to get up at least once an hour to go use the restroom, go get a snack, refill water, go to just move around, just stand up like anything, just try not to sit for more than an hour. And they said, okay, well, we had this other client that was here and they said they only experience it at night just right before bed and so I'm like okay I don't know how this is pertaining to the story but go on and I said well I ended up coming find out a week or two later that they had a tumor in the leg and the tumor was causing the pain at night so thankfully we caught it early enough I said okay and now I'm kind of nervous about it I don't have pain in my legs at night but it makes me worry that it could be that, but it just again because they didn't tell me for sure what it was they just said monitor it and they recommended physical therapy but they didn't say it's a timeline they just said we just recommend it because that way you can gauge where you're at I said okay well, thank you I appreciate it but really I'm, I feel like there needs to be I said an x-ray but they said MRI I said it 
X-ray wouldn't tell you anything, but the MRI would. So I said, okay, well, we'll monitor it. And they said, if the, if the pain comes back or it changes, then I need to let them know. And then they'll schedule an MRI. I said, okay. So I left. And I went to go see Elvis afterwards. I just wasn't ready to come back. I just wanted to get out and watch the movie. It was 10.30 showing, and when I got the ticket, I think it was at 9.30, I was the only one in the theater. <laughs> and kind of funny story, I sat down, and 10 minutes later, someone else came in, and I made some little comment when they were kind of walking out. I was like, oh, looks like it's going to be a small crowd today. I'm like, yeah, oh, I don't know, we'll see. And so we kind of laughed, and they wore an Elvis shirt that said, we just got married by the king. And... She didn't say if it was her and her husband's shirt that they actually got married there by Elvis or it was just a shirt they picked up, but they were definitely a fan. They kind of told me the history of it. and They said, we know, I normally don't go watch movies a lot because they normally come out on direct TV so soon, but this one I really enjoy and I'm definitely an Elvis fan, as you can see by the shirt. And... This is one I wanted to see twice in the theater. I said, okay, cool. I'm just like, well, what's, what's your connection? Like, I, I don't have a big connection with Elvis. I have a lot of respect for his music. He was definitely a performer, and <clears throat> I'm just trying to get the full, more of the full story. And I like musicals. I like, this actor seems like he's doing pretty good. And the trailers look really good. And of course, a Tom Hanks fan. Oh, oh really? So wanted to watch it so I did that enjoyed it and right when it ended it was good it was fine and entertaining it was long though it was two and a half hours and then a half hour of trailer so yeah I was in there from about 10 30 to 1 15 1 30 it was a long movie <laughs> and I finished some popcorns, I had the rewards points, so I used that, and then refilled on the way out, and then took my time driving back, and I thought about a massage, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this is, let me see if it's, okay, can you, oh, this, where'd it go? not that side I went and got a massage and there it is it's the other side it's right there they just kept working on that little area <laughs> and just continuously going over and over and they go with the hand and then the, the back to the palm and the, the fist and the hand and then back to the elbow and it was, you could just feel the knots go tick, 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 like popping over and Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it. It definitely feels a little bit sore, but I just took a shower and I was like, what is that in the mirror? What happened? I'm like, oh yeah, I got a massage today. And even the therapist said, you might have to come back like for two days or, you know, in a couple of weeks because you got a lot of work right here on your, your shoulders that, that you need more time. <laughs> and they were really nice about it. They said, I'll try to work out as best I can. I said, thank you. I appreciate it. So they were really nice. And so thank you, therapist. My therapist was Annie. Thank you, Annie. Appreciate it. And then came back. And then I had one of the neighbors have like a bad phone call. So I went and talked to them about it and just, hey, are you okay? What's going on? Gave them a hug and said, you're going to be okay. Just a lot popped on your plate right now. You'll work it out and you'll be okay. We just chatted for a bit, let them vent, get it out of their system, and give them an ear, and just try to give them some more positive feedback. Like, you know, it, it, something's going on, it's going to work out one way or another. It's just a lot to deal with right now. Take it one day at a time, keep moving forward, you'll, you'll get through it. And then came back, played with the pup a bit, had a little bite to eat, and then showered, and here we are ready for bed. And that's 
was a long day without the exercise fitness. I did 30 pull-ups. I just, oh, I, the last set, I could definitely feel my shoulders. So I was like, I don't know if I should do more. Should let my shoulders recover for after today, especially after seeing those marks on there. Yikes. So, gonna try to lay down. I'm gonna wrap the legs. Might do the percussion gun real quick. And then wrap the legs up in our heating pan a little bit and see if that doesn't help them tomorrow. And so I can hopefully get back to running a little bit and start with two or three days this week at two or three miles, easy pace, and go from there. So we'll see what happens. So run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.